Hello guys, welcome back to the Debug Arena. In today's video, I will show how we can host our Node.js or any backend application onto internet so that we can access our backend from anywhere. So you can see here, this is my Node.js project and in this index.js, which is my main file, I have written all the API which are required for my application. And you know what, whatever solution which I am going to show in today's video, it is not only applicable for Node.js but all the backend programming languages. So you can follow that. Now to run this Node.js application, what we have to do, we have to go to CMD and here we can run this command which is nodemon index. When I run this command, I will get two things. One is server started and another one is connected to database. That means my server has started. Now to check the output, I can go to my front end which is in react as of now. And here when I do login, I have been logged in and here one API got called. When we click on this API, you can see the request URL is localhost 5000. Like this is the URL where my backend is running. But here one drawback is that if I come here and let's close this server and if I reload this now, now it will not work and we will get error. It is because we have shut down our Node.js server. So to solve this issue, we have to host our Node.js application to the server so that we can send the request and receive the response from our backend server anytime, anywhere. To tackle this issue, we are going to make use of a free cloud platform known as Back4App. For that, we can go to Google and search for Back4App. Click on the first link which will redirect us to back4app.com. Back4app is a free cloud platform that provides us the feature to build, deploy and manage the backend application. Like it is very easy to host your backend application on Back4app, it will give us the deployed link and using that link, we can access our backend server from anywhere, anytime. Like we just have to upload our code to GitHub and then all the code present in our GitHub will be deployed to our cloud and we can access them real time. And apart from deploying the application, it also provides us option to build the database, store the data, retrieve the data along with the predefined function that make it easier if you compare to the other databases. If you are looking for the that kind of service, then you can come here and use a backend as a service provided by Back4App. It is very easy and everything is mentioned in the documentation. But for today's video, I'm going to focus much on container as a service because through this only we can host our backend application onto the cloud. Now you might be thinking about the pricing and let me tell you it is totally free like yes it provides us the free tire and that too without using the credit card. For the free tire there are some limitations and obviously it will be so this is better for the small scale application but if you want to host the large scale application then you can switch to shared or a dedicated plan and also you can see the price is very affordable and if on this price also if you want discount then you can use my coupon the coupon will be visible on the screen otherwise you can sign up with the link given in description now to host the application we first have to do the login so if you are here for the first time do the sign up you can directly sign up with the help of google once you sign up you might get two questions so make sure to answer that and here i can just verify that I am not a robot and here I can click on this build new app when you will be signing for the first time you will be directly navigated to this screen after answering the question so here we can choose the container as a services if you want to make databases and all then you can go for a backend as service but for now I will click here and you can see here I am getting the option to import my github repo but before importing the repo what I will do I will go to go docs and then we have to go to container as a service and here I will click on go to docs. If you are following me from the long time then you might know that I always say that to learn any new programming language or to explore a new platform the best place is to start from its documentation and here at the back for app they have provided a good documentation like in the documentation they have covered each and every aspect that we want to consider while hosting the application and also they provide a very big community support so that we can clear our doubts there. Here you can see inside the get started they have mentioned all the steps which we can follow to host our application onto the server and it will take just less than 5 minutes. Yeah you heard it right. Just less than 5 minutes. You know one thing why it is called as container as a service. It is because in our local we are running our node.js application. So in that the first step will be to create a file name as a docker file. Docker file will create the container inside the container it will take the copy of our node.js code after that along with the code we will also upload docker file to the github and back for app will take our code along with the docker file from the github and with the help of container which is present inside our github it will 
host our application onto the server so that we can access them from anywhere now in this the first step will be to create the docker file for that i can just scroll down and my backend language is node.js so i can go there you can access whatever language you have and here i can just scroll down here in this link we will get a docker file you can directly copy and paste it there but for now what i will do i will just go to the documentation and these are the things we have to include in the docker file i will just scroll down and i will copy the whole code at once after that i will go to my backend code here i will try to create a new file which will be docker file make sure the file name is same and after that here i will paste that code here at the first line we have to mention our node.js version which is 18 in my case work directory we have to keep it as it is this app is not related to our back end it is related to the container so we can keep that as it is after this inside the copy we have to write here package and after package it should take all the package so i will give here star dot json and at last like this so this is also done after this this command will try to install the package of json and once all of our package is installed we also have to copy all other files so for that i will do like this i can just remove this because i have already assigned the port and my port number of my backend application is 5000 and at last here we have to assign the command which will run the node.js application so in my case it is node and here i have to pass the main file name so in my case it is index suppose your main file is inside the src so you can directly mention here src slash index.js for now i will just mention here index.js so this is also done now next step will be to push these changes to the github so for that i will come here here my server is running and here i can write the git command you can use whatever you want so i will just push these changes to the git using the commands i will commit here and at last i can do the git push and you can see it is done now i can directly go to my back4 app so i will come here this is my back4 app here i will click on this import github repo here i have to enter the password so let me quickly enter the password here i have to scroll down and when we scroll down here we have two options one is we can select all the repository and the other one is we can select only one repository and here i will select the repo which i want in my case it will be login server so this is the repo i have to select i can remove this one this was i was testing then i will click on this save so it is redirecting me to back for app and here you can see it is importing the directory and my login server is here now i will just click on the select button and here we have to pass our app name so i will give here login server after giving the app name we can go to build and deploy and here we have to select the branch which is having our code and we can select the root directory so it is same like uh, i have uploaded it in main branch only and from here we can enable the auto deploy so that whenever you make changes to your github it will directly be reflected in your server and here we can pass the port for now i will keep it as default like this is null and environment variable and health we can skip now i will click on this create app now it is creating the app and you can see my deployment process is started and if we get any error or any logs like if the server will be started i will get server started and connected to database here so let's wait for deployment to be finished okay you can see here after just 2 minutes 15 seconds my deployment is done and if i scroll down here i am getting the message server started and connected to database this is the message same as we were getting in the local and here at the left hand side we will get the link through which we can access the api so if i click on this open link in new tab you can see i am getting the error but it is actually running by like in my server there was no get call okay direct get call but this is running to verify this what i will do i will just copy this then i will open my react.js code you can see here, this is my react.js code and here i am using localhost 5000 so what i will do here i will just go here to the search and i will copy this 5000 okay then i will paste it here after that in the replace i have paste the link which i have copied okay i, I will remove this backslash and here you can see all the instances where localhost 5000 is mentioned i will just replace with our new link okay and i will save this then i will go to chrome i will go to my application and here i will try to do logout after that let's try to do login so i will come here i will write my gmail click on submit 
and you can see I am getting login successful. Also in the network, if I go here, go to user data, you can see here this is not localhost. This is the link of the server which we have hosted on the back for app like this. Also in the console, we are getting the console of the particular email. So this is how easily we can host our Node.js or any backend application onto back for app and we can get the link so that we can access our backend server from anywhere anytime. So that's it for the video. I hope you are also deploying your backend application onto back for app and showing your backend application to the world. Also, don't forget to check out the discount code which is available in the description. And if you are facing any issue in the process, then please let me know in comment. I will try to help you or otherwise you can raise a ticket in the back for app and the technical team will help you. Please do like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video.